The Veterans of Foreign Wars post announced that it had begun a campaign to remove the American flag from postage stamps. The reason given was that post offices defile the flag every time they cancel those six cent stamps. Now we wondered why no one had thought of that fact before, and who indeed might be the patriot who had the gumption to launch a pro-American campaign uh, directed at the U.S. Post Office. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Newswatcher. We're sitting here with Treba Burns. He is from, what was the town, sir? Plaquemine. Plaquemine, Louisiana, and he is the Commander-in-Chief of the Trebeman Veterans of Foreign Wars. Where was it that you saw action in a foreign war, sir? Well, it was at the Bay of Pigs. It was? Yeah, I was, I was there at the Bay of Pigs. When you came to the program, you were complaining about one thing in particular. It is the uh -huh. use of the image I'm of the flag. complaining about that. What? The, yes, the, what, what? The use of the image of the flag. The flag itself on United States postage stamps. Yes, indeed, sir. I am against that. I always have been and I always will be. But why? As so long as I stand here, I'll be against it. Putting the American flag on a stamp. Well, tell me... Uh, Government must be out of its collective mind. No, well, don't you think that the stamp being a beautiful stamp, it has the image of the flag so well embossed, the colors are bright, they're brilliant stamps. I don't see why you should be against it. Look what you do to a stamp, man! What do you mean? First place, you lick the stamp. Now that, that is almost like spitting on the flag. Maybe a little saliva will run over the edge of the back and get down the front. I see. Now, would you spit on the flag? No, no, no. Cross your heart and hope to die? Square. <laughs> All righty, now. And what else? You get a letter, you open it. Yeah. Maybe it's something, a letter from your loved one, or right. money, or something important. Right. You tear it open. Right. You rip the flag right in half, and you know what's happened before that? What's that? They have stamped that. They have put ink all over the flag. And then when you finish with that letter, do you put it away like you should? No, you throw it in the trash. Now, would you want to see your flag stamped on and destroyed and no. ruined? No. That is the work of a vicious, nasty person. Now, you're not one of those, are you? I don't think so, sir. Go on. I'm with you. Thank you. Let me ask you, though, uh, what would you suggest as an image that this mutilation and Well, you know terror... what I'd suggest. I told you before the program. Yes, well, you said you brought some samples of stamps. Yeah, I brought the samples. I think that we should put on our stamps things that should be spat upon, spindled, folded, and mutilated. Yes, well, do you have them with you? Yes. Can we see First them? First of all, here we have our Bobby Seal stamp. Now, I think that's, that's the kind of thing that we should use, yes. right? Well, in Louisiana, I think that maybe for interstate mail, it might be a little... I think anywhere! Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. You don't disagree, do you? I not say. <laughs> you see, I've been told by my lawyer that I'm allegedly not responsible for what you say. You're not. No. Now, another thing, if you're going to spit on the flag, here is the flag that you want to spit on. Mm-hmm. The can... one that the Ruskies use, in case you have never, if you have led a sheltered life and have never seen it, this is the Russian flag, this yeah. is the sickle here, and that is the hammer. And now, if you want to put a flag on and just spit on it and, and, and then tear it up. Well, do you think we could lick that stand? <laughs> oh, oh, the sorry. microphone, you pushed it into my chest. Painful, wasn't it? Yeah. And the other one is that I think that we should use is Dick and Tommy Smothers. Hmm. 